up, down, up, down. According to Google, perspective means a mental view or prospect, which is a little short for my liking, so I created my own. My definition of perspective is the specific view of each individual person that affects all their thoughts and opinions. What exactly does that mean? Well, we'll get into it. While scrolling through Pinterest, I found something and I want to read it to you guys. It's a story about a professor who in his class held up a black book and told his students this book is red. They all told him that he was wrong and he insisted that it was red. As they were all thinking that he couldn't be right, he turned it around and the back cover was indeed red. And then he said, don't tell somebody they're wrong until you've seen things from their point of view. Think of it like this. You can see colors, right? I mean, everyone can. Except blind people. I'm sorry. And colorblind people see a little bit different colors. But that's exactly what I'm trying to get to. Imagine that everyone isn't colorblind, but everybody sees colors differently. What may look like orange to you looks like blue to somebody else. And you can say all you want, that's orange, and they'll say that's blue. And you can't do anything about it because that's their perspective. That's it. You have to accept that they see things just, just a little differently from you. Well, blue and orange are a lot different, but what's another example of perspective? A very basic example of perspective that I can give you right now is what we're seeing right now. Me, I'm seeing a camera, a mic, my laptop, my room, my front room, my house, but you guys are seeing probably a monitor, a phone, something, something around the background around there, maybe you're like just in your room at school who knows and then you see me you see a beautiful face but that's your physical perspective right that's what you're seeing at the moment but how does that differ from so many other things i want to show you so let's say i have my phone here right one minute taking a minute to load okay here we go so my phone is on video, right? It's on video, filming this beautiful scene right here. Imagine this is one kind of perspective of a person. I can see my room the way I see it, and then the phone also sees it in a different way. So I'm filming right now. You guys are seeing, right? I'll put this in the video. You guys see it? There's the camera, there's like everything. Some people's lives look like this. <laughs> No joke. Some people's perspectives are actually like that. I've met people who, and this is not a bad thing. It's a negative thing in their life, but it's not their fault. They have so, their perspectives are so unstable because of so many things going on in their life. And they have anxiety and oppression and so many things. But there's some people that have a much more stable viewpoint, like this tripod. It doesn't move and it's fixed, but there's problems with both sides of that. The problem with this the tripod is you can only see certain things, right? You can't see beyond the borders. It's almost like you have tunnel vision. You can only see what's here, my face, what's behind me. Basically, that's it. You can only see me. But with the phone analogy, where the phone is going through the air at a million miles per hour, it's not stable enough for that person to have a healthy lifestyle, to have a, any sort of mental health that's well supported. How do I rephrase that? With the phone analogy, it's not stable, so their mental health is probably just down somewhere in the gutter, and it's just awful for them because it's not secure for them. There's more to that analogy than just that because it's not like everyone's perspective can be put on a spectrum and can be related to a thing directly in the world. I don't even know what I could relate my perspective to. It's like, I want you guys to do the same thing. I want you to look at somebody and try to think of yourself in their life, in their shoes. And I want you to maybe be more empathetic in your life. Sympathetic? Sympathetic. That's the right word. I want you to be sympathetic. I want you to, before you say something to someone, just think for a second about what their life might be like. 
even if they're the cheeriest person you know, even if they're this shy, quiet, nice person, they still go through so many things. Everybody has problems in their life. They have to overcome. And you have to think about that sometimes before you say things. I've given you guys a lot of examples about physical perspective, how we actually see things in the world, but that's not the perspective I'm talking about. So kind of like keep those in mind, but also forget them at the same time. Because the perspective I'm talking about is your personal perspective, what's in your brain, how you see the world, not just physically, but what... How do I explain this? Let's go back to my definition. At the end of the definition, I established that your perspective controls all your thoughts and opinions. Not really controls, but encompasses them. Think about it like this. You've never had an idea or thought that is outside of your perspective because it's not possible for you. Everyone has perspectives, and I've seen people who have vastly different perspectives from me that completely a 180 from me. They can think about some things, and I'd never in a million years think about that, simply because their perspective is so vastly different from mine. And that's something that you have to keep in mind with people as you go about life, because some people might never see things the same way that you do, but it's why humans are so amazing also. I believe it's to kill a mockingbird. In the book, the dad, Atticus Finch, right? He's a really wise guy, he's a lawyer. He says a wonderful line, I wish I could quote it word for word, but, oh, let me find it. Atticus Finch says, you never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view, until you climb in his skin and walk around in it. Atticus knows what he's talking about. It's one of the first things that Atticus teaches Scout in the book. It's absolutely fantastic. And yeah, I studied it in school this year. But it really did strike me quite a bit. Because so many people go through so many different things. And I've talked to people and I've heard stories about things they go through. And some people have had awful things happen to them terrible things that you only hear about in the news and sometimes the news doesn't even talk about it and it's awful or sometimes it's things that the news doesn't even know about and won't confront and those are the things you have to think about because they happen in people's lives they aren't just things you hear in stories they actually do happen in our world it's awful and they've been going on forever pretty much and we're actually only now in society on an uphill climb. And I want to accelerate that, I guess. Because there's been a long time in history when really that wasn't the case. There's been so much time when awful, awful things were accepted as the norm. Like, in 8th grade, we had an assignment or a debate or something. And it was about Columbus and... Not going to mention anything in particular because it might not be appropriate monetization, but he did some awful things to the indigenous people of America. But back then, it was accepted as okay almost. It's wrong and it's awful, but it wasn't wrong back then. And we analyzed it with a historical view, a different perspective, basically. And we said, yeah, nowadays, that would be awful. We would never allow that. But back then, it was something that they did, and they called it okay. And that's not good by any means, but that just shows you... I guess there's two things I can show you with that. First of all, when you think of things... <laughs> when you think of things with another perspective, like how we did with a historical view or whatever you want to call it, you can see more and learn more. What's the second thing? And the second thing, I guess, that I want to relate that to is we're changing as a society constantly. Just in the last three years, three, four, ugh, wow. Just in the last three or four years, even just the last year, 2018, what a year. But things, so many things have changed and happened. I don't want to bring up politics on this channel because that's such a... Oh, what's the word? 
Um, g give me a second trying to figure this out. Controversial. Controversial. That's the word. The reason that perspective is the first thing that's going up on this channel is because it's the basis, it's the groundwork for everything else that I'm going to be putting up here on this channel. Everything else that I'm going to be putting here is related to perspective somehow. I kept thinking about this, and it's always coming back to perspective. All of that has to do with how we see the world differently and how everyone sees the world. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking a little bit of how I see the world, and I'm sharing it with everyone else through YouTube. I'm trying to give people what I see. I have three goals that I want to achieve with this channel. The first one is helping people find happiness, which sounds a bit naive, but not as much as the other two. The next one is helping us grow and become better people. I want to affect society and change it and take away the things that are wrong with it and make it better because I've seen a lot of things that are so messed up about us and I think all of us working together can help fix that. And my last goal is the most far-fetched childish dream that I've ever had and I've always wanted to do this. It's what almost everything, all my big dreams and aspirations lead up to this. I want to change the world with my message on this channel. I want to create a community that supports this. I want to create a community that spreads this message so we can all become better people together. Because I want to post values on this, on this channel that I want to post things on this channel that are not just my values, but also I want your input. I want you in the comment section. I'm going to make a blog someday. I want you to be there and I want you to be part of it. I want people to add to this. I want it to grow and change. That's why I'm using perspective as my building point. Because without your guys' perspective and everyone helping, we can't see the full picture. I can't alone see everything that this channel needs. I need you guys once you're part of this channel and once it grows, hope it grows, to add your perspective to it and we can share more with each other and see so many more things about this world. And I can't say how important this is to everything else that I'm going to put on this channel from now on. Everything else is going to relate directly back to perspective. And if you don't master this now, or at least grasp this concept, then you won't ever be able to grasp anything else that I'm going to put here. And this is all about learning. I'm a, I want to teach you guys. Even if I'm not the greatest teacher, even if I don't know everything, that's why I have you and your perspectives too. So we can all learn and grow together as a community. I'm only the channel for that. I'm, I'm the main like aqueduct and you guys are all like feeding water into me and I'm just spitting it back out. And you guys are all listening to that right now. I mean, this is mostly just me talking based on my perspective. Everything else on this channel hopefully will have your guys' input in it. If I can build a strong community, then you guys will be a part of this too. And you guys will hear everything that everyone else has to say. And we're not here to argue, we're here to learn. You have to be aware of other people's perspectives as well as your own on top of it because you have to think about how yours relates to theirs and you have to keep it all in mind, which kind of sounds hard, but that's the building block of this whole thing, this whole channel. Everything I'm going to say relates back to this perspective, perspective. Hope I get that right perspective anyway um let's see what else do i have to say i think that's it for this episode guys i think i got everything anyway that's all for this video i hope you guys learned something about perspective and this next week i want you guys to put yourself into somebody else's shoes think about their life and maybe be a little nicer to them i don't know use perspective to help people anyway that's it if you guys like the music that you hear in this video, 
Go check out the link in the description. Personic is a friend of mine and he makes fantastic music and he is an aspiring EDM producer. Please subscribe to him. He would love the support and I would love if you guys helped him too. I think that's about it. I'll see you guys next week.